Uh, Josh Green here for Tungsten Tales. Delighted to be joined by Steve Beaton, former champion of the world, back at another world championships in Ali Pali. Looking forward to it as ever, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm so relieved this year that I'm in it. Um, it's been a tough year. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. Is the sense really relief? Because at times earlier in the year, you weren't maybe in those positions. Um, yeah, I mean, COVID got me out of 32, really, because of all the tournaments I was trying to defend and things like that. So I've been finding my way back up. And I said this year, I'll start afresh, see how it goes this year. Um, the main thing was to keep me tour card and then obviously to, to try to qualify for the Worlds again. And, um, you know, I've done both. So I'm just looking forward to the Worlds now and then give it another crack next year now. Mm. But there, there was doubt at the start of the year. I mean, looking at the rankings and you maybe weren't picking up the results you, that you would have wanted. Was there any sort of doubt in your mind that you'd be able to to get to the Worlds and keep your tour card? Um. Yeah, in a way, yeah, maybe I was I was worried a little bit. I mean, it's totally different once you drop out of the 32 and you you start dropping down the rankings, and obviously you're going to get tougher draws. You know, it's 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 easier in, on the pro tour if you're in the top 32 because you're always seeded. Um, so I knew I was going to get tougher draws. It was just a matter of you know getting through them games and taking the opportunities. Really, mm. are you still really enjoying the game as much as you ever have? Because you're not. You're not up on those TV stages quite as regularly as you once were, and it's the grind of the Wiggins and the Barnsleys now for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I do, I do miss all the TV ones. You know, the Grand Prix, the Match Play, all of them. You know, I, I used to be in all of them, and uh, it is hard to sit at home and watch them. You know, but it's my own fault. I've got myself in this position, so I've got to, you know, get myself back out of it and, and work my way back up. And if it doesn't happen next year, then you know, maybe I'll just call it a day. Then you know, just see what happens, really. Hmm. Going back to Ali Pali, you've been there time and time again, so many times before. Do you still get the buzz going into such a big tournament? Oh, yeah. I mean, the atmosphere is great. You know, um, uh, you, 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 you love all those people there. I mean, the other year when there was only a few people there because of COVID, it wasn't the same. You know, you want that atmosphere of everybody dressing up and getting in a party Christmas. At, you know, it's that's part of the part of the fun of it, you know, and uh, yeah, I look forward to it every year and, and that that's the one that everybody wants to win, obviously. Mm. Even even the atmosphere against players like Fallon Cherokee you had to face last year? Well, I'm, I've got to say this year watching the draw, there was three of them in it this year and I, I was just sitting there, fingers crossed, thinking, well, I played Fallon last year. I don't, I didn't want Bo Greaves or, or Lisa or even Fallon again, you know, so I was so happy that I didn't get one of them and uh, you know, well done to Marjorie and Webster are not pulling me, pulling me out. Spoke to a few players and, and Bo Greaves is a name that's come up for people wanting to avoid. I think not just the factor of it little being a little bit different up on stage and having the crowd behind her, but Bo is very, very capable of those 90 plus averages and that, that just makes it even harder, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I like to watch the darts now and again, you know, and you watch different things happening. But I did watch her in the in the, in the the series, that's how she got through and everything. And, uh, you know, what what a player. You know, you can't believe she's only 18. And, and her averages, her scoring, she was hardly losing, losing a leg, never mind a match. You know, it was just unbelievable. And, uh, you know, she carries that on, you know, like I say, I, I, I'm glad I did draw a first round in, in the Worlds this year. But uh, it'd be different, obviously, playing down there, you know, big crowd like that, four or five thousand people. So it'd be interesting to see how she does. But um, I mean, Lisa, I'll probably know more than anything from the tour. You know, Lisa Ashton, she's played quite a lot on the tour and she's quite capable of, of playing as well as Ballon as well. Mm -hmm. For you, it is Danny Van Tripe, someone who's making his his world's debuts, come through the development tour. Um, is experience and just know-how on that stage, do you think, going to be a big factor in a game like that? Um, I think every game's different. You know, I tell you, every game is, is different. You know, but obviously, yeah, I've done it quite a lot of there. He's come through the development tour. He's, he's had a good good way through, really. That's a good way of coming up through the darts, you know, because gives him a bit of a feel of, of what things to come and everything. So, uh, I'm not going to underestimate him. I don't underestimate anybody, but, uh, you know, I'd, I hopefully he's going to be my game. And then, uh, obviously, it's Johnny Clayton after that. So, 
Mm. You know, I'm just going to take one game as it comes, but hopefully I'm going to get through the first round. Yeah, I think the first round, everybody just looks at and think, get through that and you're in the tournament. That's not just the players, uh, the international qualifiers and the pro tour qualifiers, but even the seeds are just thinking, get that first win and then the tournament's up and running. Oh, definitely. Yeah, every, everybody wants a happy Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's 100% what it's about. Get get through Christmas. Um, pro tour final towards the end of the year seemed to be a a little bit of a, a turning point. It gave you a bit of a boost up those rankings. And although it was a loss to, to James in the final, it was it seemed like a, a good moment. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, I had to go into the day thinking that I still needed to pick up money. I mean, as it worked out, I didn't need to. But, you know, I was going in with all the intentions of having to play well. And then, obviously, when I got to the final, I think it was 5-2 up. I mean, I should have won it then, really. And I really get that far. You obviously want to win the tournament, you know, and um, you know I was a bit disappointed then at the end of it. Obviously, you just wiped me straight out, but um, yeah, I mean it was good, you know, good, good to get into that one. Um, unfortunately, I played in the players the other week, didn't get off to a slow start and didn't do so well in that. But um, I'm just going to wait now for the draw, really, because it's hard to prepare until you know when you're actually on at Ali Pali. So um, mm. it'd be interesting in the next few days to see when I'm actually playing, and then I can sort of prepare for it then. I assume you you'll be commuting backwards and forwards from Ali Pali. You won't be you won't be staying down there. No, generally we go back and forth. Yeah, I might if I'm if I'm on really late at night, I might have to stay the night. But generally we'll we'll just go up and back and forth on the day. Mm. One player I'd like to quickly get your thoughts on is is Josh Rock. He's sort of had a lot of uh, a lot of press, a lot of media, and some would say maybe a lot of pressure put on him. What do you make of the? the fuss maybe around a player like like Josh? Um, I think he's brilliant. I mean, I think he's playing really well. I mean, he, he, I think everybody's expecting him to win everything. You know, Michael mm. Michael uh, did a job on him the other, the other tournament, you know, and he didn't do a lot wrong, had a nine dart and everything, and then he just couldn't get past Michael. But, you know, even the last tournament, he still play, he's still playing well. He's just... You know, you can only have so so high a standard. You know, you can only 100 average, 110. You know, you can only go so high. So in the end, it's going to be down to a double, really. And um, if he keeps playing like he is, you know, there's no, there's no stopping him, really. But it just depends on how long he can keep that up. And, uh, you know, like I say, if he just gets the, the look of the draw, really. Mm. Is there any danger of sort of the outside pressures becoming a factor? We've seen what's happened with... You would say maybe Fallon this year, her levels definitely dropped. Um, players like Leighton Bennett coming on the scene at age 13, 14, throwing huge averages, and now we don't see a huge amount of them. I think you, you are, over the years, I've seen players come up and then you see them come back down. You know, they've all come past me, and then in the end, they've all just come back past me. You know, it's it's, it's one of them, it's, it's how long you can keep that keep that standard up you know I'm just sort of just leveled off really I mean I'm up sometimes but I'm not that consistent that's my problem at the moment you know as I'm getting older I'm not keeping the consistency going but yeah you're going to see loads of players come up and down and it just depends on how they handle the pressure really like you just said I think Josh though he's got a, I think he's got a sound head on him I, mean, I think he's quite confident he's uh, he's going to I think he'll, he'll do well over the next few years actually Mm. Uh, and just finally, heading into Ali Pali, what are you looking to achieve there? We say first round, but I think everybody has something in their mind they want to achieve at Ali Pali. Oh, I just like, to, I mean, obviously like to win it, but, you know. <laughs> um, I'd like to say I'll take every game as it comes, you know. I, this is be 32nd World Championship on the trot now, and, you know, I'd like next year to make it 33, but, you know, I, I've got to play a standard that's good enough to be in this tournament. It's no good playing with an 80 average, you know, you're not going to win anything. So, you know, my averages towards the end of the year have been the 90s, 100s now. So, obviously, I've got to carry that on. I've got to be averaging 90, the end of 90 to 100 average, or I'm not going to have a look in anyway. So, you know, that's that's the way I'm looking at it. And um, hopefully, you know, it, it all comes together in a few weeks. Lovely stuff. Well, thank you very much for your time, Steve. Really appreciate it. Oh, no, pleasure. Thanks for having us.